We're here at American Airlines Arena. They're closing it down right now. The Heat closed down the Pacers in Game 6 of the Eastern Conference Finals. 117-92 final score to advance to the fourth straight NBA Finals. Legendary company now for the Heat on the cusp of history. Greg Cody. Joe Goodman. Please put this in perspective. This this monumental achievement by the Heat. Yeah, first team in more than a quarter of a century to make four straight finals, that's great. And uh, the, the, the small shame of it is that Lance Stevenson and all his antics get so much attention during this series. It, it sort of takes away a little bit to what the Heat have accomplished, but uh, it, it's fantastic what they've done. And, and now Lance has an entire off season to figure out uh, new methods of annoying LeBron when the next season starts, so it, it works out well for everybody. Uh, but Lance might be at another team, so he, he might have to figure out uh, a, a new team for those antics to yeah, but apply. LeBron will be here, so you know he can always uh, he can always come back in a different uniform. Well, there was a moment with three minutes left in the first quarter when inexplicably Lance Stevenson cupped his hands, his hand around LeBron James' mouth. LeBron James was bending over. He jumped up to attention, got in Lance Stevenson's face, gave him some choice words that we can't we, we can't repeat right here. And from that point forward, through the end of the third quarter, the Heat outscored the Pacers 76 to 45. LeBron James finished with 25 points. Dwayne Wade had 13 points. Chris Bosh had 25 points. You know, LeBron didn't want to talk about. The, the agitator that was Lance Stevenson in this series, but what did that moment do? Well, it, it, it coalesced uh, everything. I, I mean, the, the Heat were in charge even before then, but w when you do something like that that really annoys the top player, even Frank Vogel said after the game, you don't tug on Superman's cape like that. <laughs> you know, the whole thing backfired on Lance Stevenson. The better team won. Uh, I thought Birdman Anderson was big today, huge, uh, coming back from injury, nine points, ten, ten rebounds. Uh, I thought he did well. Oh, <laughs> Dan some, Levitard. Some jerk back here is blowing in my ear. Um, but uh, And I'm distracted now. That's like a cinnamon uh, cinnamon gum or something. That, well, that we're going to have an entire weekend to refocus right. we and get, re and get ready that. for the finals. Right. Just a little background, a little perspective. Only three teams... Only, only two teams have, only three teams now, the Heat, the Celtics, and the Lakers have advanced to four straight NBA Finals in a row. There was Bill, Bill Russell's Celtics. There was Magic and Kareem's Lakers. There was Larry Bird's Celtics. And now there are, is Dwayne Wade and LeBron James and Chris Bosh's Heat. And that is the, dyn, uh, the, the dynastic, the, the, <laughs> that is the legendary status, I guess, that the Heat it, you know, is on the is on the cusp of it is, and and Vogel I thought was fairly gracious afterward. He said, referring to LeBron, he said, "We're playing the LeBron James of this era, and we're playing the Chicago Bulls of this era." Uh, that it's very frustrating that they've been eliminated three straight years by the same team, but they are losing to the best team and and the uh, Michael Jordan of the era. So that's a little bit of consolation, I guess, for the Pacers. For the Michael Jordan of the Miami Herald. Greg Cody, I am Joseph Goodman, and we will see you at the NBA Finals.